everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I'm doing a collab with Beth here on YouTube and she goes by little Betsy underscore 79 and she chose for us to do like a favorites and fail for Shop Miss A products. So I'm going to be doing a full face of mostly a full face and I also have some other stuff I'm gonna sneak in there and talk about like this headband I got for Shop Miss A for a dollar which I actually really, really like it. It doesn't hurt my head and it's not too bulky. Sometimes you get these braided headbands which are super bulky and I believe they have them in different colors as well. But the one thing about Shop Miss A's website is they do um, go through products and then bring in new products often. So sometimes something I might have, they might not have it anymore or they also sell out of products quite a bit. But Shop Miss A is a wonderful website. They also have like physical stores, I believe in Texas, that's where they're based. And majority of their products are $1. Some products are a little bit more like $1.55 because they do a lot of like charity and like the 55 cents would go towards a charity. And also Beth is like, if you're not subscribed to Beth, Beth already, I highly recommend checking out her channel. I will link her channel down below, of course. She is just so down to earth and so fun to watch. She did a vlog series in October and I just adored her vlogs. What I truly enjoyed about watching them, and I said, I made sure I watched every single one of them and I watched them all the way through. She's just, it's like you're watching someone so relatable. Like a lot of these bigger YouTubers, they have beautiful cars, beautiful houses, and don't get me wrong, that's wonderful to watch sometimes, but it's nice to watch someone who you can relate to and have like similarities with them. Like she'll talk about like financial problems or like the mortgage in her house and like real, real issues. And it, I don't know, I just really enjoyed that. And she'll show her family. She's also a teacher. So she showed like her classroom and I don't know, it's just, it's just very fun to watch. And she did say in one of her videos that she's a rambler. Sometimes she gets to be, you know, start rambling. But I told, I wrote in the comments, that's what I love about you so much is because you, you feel like you get to know her personality and it's not like a robot, you know, like you're watching a real person, someone you could, you think like me and her, we are part of the Faithful Fab Nine and we have communicated like on Instagram and stuff. But, like, I've never met her in person because she does live in California. But I feel like if I was closer to her, I think I would have a lot of fun hanging out with her. She just seems fun. She has this contagious, like, happy laugh. And she also does do makeup videos. She has, She's a part of, like, Pan, Project Pans about using through her makeup. Um, but she does purchase new makeup as well. And she purchases, like, um fun brands too like she's been buying beauty creations and I haven't heard much about that brand but the palettes look gorgeous and they're actually gonna have some of their products in BoxyCharm for November so I don't know if I want a beauty creations palette or the Natasha Denona I don't know but I guess I'd be happy either way but anyways definitely check out her channel she is such a a fun person to watch and she said she's gonna do um vlogs starting like do like vlogmas in December which I am so looking forward to I can't wait um and I'm probably gonna watch every single one of those as well because I find them so entertaining and so fun okay so we're gonna start off with foundation this is the AOA studio buildable satin foundation and I have mine in the shade buff and I believe this foundation was like $1.55 because it's like the A+. Plus. I, I'm not sure what foundation the money goes towards. And it's very, very like liquidy formula. But the shade buff does seem to work fairly well on me. And I would say I get like more light coverage with this. And like it's very thin. But I think it looks really pretty on the skin. The only downside to this foundation is I feel like it'll get oily throughout the day. And I have more normal skin. Um, so 
and I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say I had oily skin. I don't currently have a sponge from Chatmose, but I have tried their Papa sponges and I think they're wonderful. I would say very similar to like more like a BB cream type coverage. I'm sure you can build it up, but once you go like start building up a product and then I feel like it's going to get thicker and like greasier feeling. So I would say overall, I would say this foundation is a favorite. Okay, and for my next product is from AOA Studio. This is the Liquid Concealer in the shade Porcelain, and this is a part of the Paw Paw Foundation. So I'm gonna have to say this concealer is a fail for me. I know this concealer is a favorite for a lot of people, but for me, I don't get enough coverage. I feel like I have to layer this concealer on, and it's, like it goes on creamy, but it dries out really quick and I get a lot of crepiness under my eyes. And I would say this concealer gives me the most, I, I, I did put quite a bit on, <laughs> but it gives me like the, the most crepiness out of all the concealers I own or have tried. Like I just look old when I wear this. I feel like once I blend it away, it doesn't give me much coverage. I know I did put on a lot on this eye, but you could still see like everything once you blend it out. So I feel like I always have to go in with the second layer. And maybe because I put on extra concealer to get coverage, maybe that's why it's so creepy. But even when I don't use a lot of it, I've noticed the creeping and the creasing. Next part that I'm gonna use is the AOA, the Perfect setting powder and this is in the brightening shade so it has like more of a pink tint to it now when I got this this container is kind of small but I I use this actually quite a bit and I still have quite a bit of product and I really do like this powder I would say it's a favorite I feel like it's soft it's finely milled I feel like it's silky I don't know I, I do enjoy this powder quite a bit so I'm just gonna take a small brush and set underneath my eyes kind of like spread it all over my face because this foundation does seem to get kind of oily on my skin throughout the day i just want to make sure it's set it so i do have a contour stick and this isn't from the aoa studio brand sculpt fix contour stick in the shade nude okay i find the formula to be creamy but the shade is way off. This is, it almost looks muddy when I put it on my skin and I, all it, I don't know, it almost blends away to be nothing as well. The only reason I'm going to call this a fail today is because the shade's way wrong for me. If I had it in more of a like correct shade, maybe I would like the product more, but I don't know. It's very, very light and gray. So when I blend it, it kind of just disappears. I don't have a uh, powder bronzer from Shop Messe, so I'm just gonna use my Wet n Wild contouring powder off camera real quick, and we'll be back to show some blush. Okay, so I have two blushes from the AOA brand. They're called Perfect Blush. I have Mod, and I have Looker, and I th think their blushes are definitely a favorite. I think they are so good. Here's Maud. This is a cool tone, like purpley pink. And then this one, Looker, is more of a bright shade, more deeper, more like a, a berry. I, and they are both very pigmented. Like I can use this one, but I have to go in with a light hand. And maybe I'll use Looker. And it is a small little container and it kind of stinks that you have to like remove the cap. But besides that, I mean, this blush is a dollar. I think the formula is really good. Definitely make sure a lot of product is off because this blush packs a punch. Ooh -wee. So blush is a favorite. For highlight, I have two of them. I have the AOA Studio and the AOA Studio brand, I would say is like their house brand. And I have heard, they do sell other brands on AOA's website, but the AOA brand is probably the most popular and it gets the best reviews on the website. So 
I, I just think these are a little bit higher quality than the other brands in my experience, but it's just my opinion. But this is the Bellore highlighter in Lucky. And then this is the Dewy Cream Highlight in Opal. So they're both like cream highlights. This one is kind of like a moussey texture. And these are little, little containers, so you're not going to get a ton of product. And this one looks like a white one, but when you swatch it, it has like a duo chrome shift, like that pinky shift. But they're both pretty. I would say this one has a lot of glitter in it. If you don't like glitter, I'm usually not a big fan of glitter in my highlights. But for what they are, I would say they were a favorite, even though they're not like my they're like not my favorite out of my collection, but I, f they're good, if that makes any sense. I'm going to put some of the vel the velour. It's more of like a gold color. And I'm just going to take my sponge to blend it out. It does give you like a wet shine, which is really pretty. I don't own any setting powder or spray from Shop Masse, so I'm going to do that off camera and then we're going to continue on with brows. Okay, so I have a few products. I have a couple tools that I want to share with you. These are some scissors and they are for trimming your brow hair and these are definitely a favorite. I have kind of long eyebrows, so I like grooming them with this. You kind of go up and you just trim. And this tool is only a dollar. And I also have these little razors from the AOA brand and I believe they were a dollar for a pack of three. This one has got kind of dull, but I really like these razors. People use them to like shave their face. Um, I like to use them for my eyebrows. I like to go right here, like right under and just clean them up a little bit. I think these are great and for three for a dollar awesome price definitely a favorite and for brow products I own four this is from a different brand it's from Amuse and this is the brow perfecting duo powder in the sh medium so it's a little compact and you do have a mirror and there's two shades a lighter and a deeper one I don't know I don't really use brow powder for my brows I just bought it because I don't own any brow powder I also own this brow pencil. This is the Sculpting Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe, and I do enjoy their shade Taupe. Sometimes I get it and it's too warm. And then we have the Brow Gel in Taupe as well. And this is a favorite. I really enjoy this one. I mean, the brow pencil is kind of dry. It's more waxy, but it's almost, it's kind of a tricky product to use. I think I would prefer my brow pencil a little bit more creamy but if you like it like super waxy you would probably enjoy this and then I have the brow gel like the fiber brow gel which is fine but there wasn't that much product in here when I got it which is kind of good in a way because sometimes when you get brand new gels they're like way too intense and I'm just going to clean up my hand. This is the women's deodorant wipes from Shop Miss Day that I got a pack for a dollar. These are mostly meant to be used on your body, like if you're cleaning up after working out at a gym or something. So I'm going to put a little bit of this brow gel on my hand. And I'm just going to use a small angled brush. And I'm just going to fill in my brows. I don't own any like little eyeshadow palettes from Shop Miss Day. I know, um... Beth does so definitely check out her video to see what she says about her eyeshadows but I do own two of these long-lasting shadow sticks I have one in shimmer drama and matte nutmeg and then I also own this AOA wonder baked eyeshadow so I would say these two are a fail the shimmer one does work better works better than the matte one but like it's, it is pretty, but it's not great. I mean, it's nice, it's decent, but it's not nothing like amazing. And the matte one is terrible. I even sharpened it. It is so dry. Look, I just broke it off trying to, 
and I thought maybe if I sharpened it, it would work better, but it is so dry. Look at me trying to blend it on my hand. It is just so bad. Terrible. And then this one, the AOA Baked Eyeshadow, it's pretty. I think it's pretty for a one eyeshadow look. Mine is in the shade Poic, I believe. And it's just like a pretty, like, pinky shade. It's kind of sheer. It's not, like, super pigmented. But I think it would be pretty for, like, a one eyeshadow look. Nothing too intense. But these ones do dry very quick. And they're hard to blend. And then I'm just going to top it off with this baked eyeshadow. And I also have this AOA uh, shadow switch. And this is only a dollar. And it's just, you just take your eyeshadow brush and go through it to make so you could switch different colors. Okay, so now we're going to move on to eyeliner. This is from the Shot Miss A brand. And this is the Wonder Liquid Eyeliner. And I got mine in the shade brown. It is like a kind of like a brush tip eyeliner. It reminds, it's very similar to the e.l.f. eyeliner. And when it is wet, it looks brown. But when it dries, it just looks black, which is a little disappointing. But I really like the formula of this eyeliner. I think it's easy to use. I am very impressed with this. So it's definitely a favorite. So I have some mascara. This is the AOA Studio Fat Lash. So it is a decent size mascara for a dollar. I have been burned on a lot of mascaras from like the dollar store or anything like, I don't know, anything like that. So I was very like unsure about this. This is a very, very dry formula. And I had it for a little bit now, so it kind of dried out more. But overall, I do like the way my eye, my lashes look. I feel like it builds up very nicely and it does like hold a curl. And it, so I wouldn't say it's my favorite mascara. It's like, okay, I don't know. But I'll show you how it works. Let me pull you in closer so you could get a good idea. but it does stick to the lashes and build up nicely. So here's one eye with and one eye without. I, I think it gives your lashes a pretty look. Okay, so now we're gonna move into lips. I only own two products. I have the AOA Studio Sugar Lips Lip Scrub and Honey. This is a favorite, I love this. And then I have this lipstick, Matte Kiss. I don't know what the brand is. I'm not sure, but it's not a Shat Miss A brand. So I'm going to put this on first to help prep my lips. This smells just like honey. It smells like honey you put in a tea. Like it's so good. You don't have a lot of sugar granules. This is not like using like a Jeffree Star lip scrub. Where it's like filled with sugar. This just has some sugar chunks, but it still exfoliates. It still moisturizes and I just love the way it smells. And I know they had different like flavors of the um, sugar scrub. I haven't tried them, but mm, the honey one, if you like honey, you would love this. Okay, now I'm going to go on the lipstick. It kind of doesn't match my um, eye look I got going on. This is in the shade Tangerine and it is in a matte lipstick. I would say this lipstick, it's not terrible, but it would be leaning more towards a fail because it's kind of streaky on my lips. Like you have to drag it. Okay, so that is it with the makeup portion. I am gonna talk about a couple other things. Don't worry, this video will end soon. I do have a necklace from Shot Masse. It says love and it has like little rhinestones. It's really shiny. Um, only a dollar. I think it's awesome. The only problem, I did have a problem with the clasp coming undone, like, by the charm. 
I just had to take like a tool and squish it together and it was fine. But for a dollar, I will deal with that. I think it makes great gifts for children, kids, anybody really. If you want like lots of jewelry and you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, it's really pretty. I haven't showered with it on. I wouldn't recommend showering or swimming with this because I'm sure it would turn your neck green or if you have allergies to like fake jewelry or whatever. But if you just want some cute costume jewelry, I think it's really cute. I love it. I also have some brats and like clips and stuff that I absolutely love from Shop Must Say. I can't find them. I lose them, but they're awesome. And then I have some face masks. This is the bag they come in. See, the thing with the face masks is they get different styles all the time. So what I'm showing you, they might not have on their website, but these are adjustable cloth face masks. So you have this where you could tighten or loosen it. I'll, the only, like these are great quality. I really think they're great. The only problem is, is being as petty as this sounds, you get kind of a beak. You see what I'm talking about? But if you tighten it, try to tighten it, or maybe if I ironed it or something, it would get rid of that beak. That is the only downside. If you don't care that you have a beak from your face mask, Definitely, I would give it a, like a perfect. Now this style right here, I don't have that beak look. So I prefer this face mask over like this style just cause you have the beak. For a dollar, you can't go wrong. And then a couple other favorites are this little hairbrush. This is a wet and dry brush from Kayla. This is like the mini size. I love wet and dry brushes because they don't damage my hair as much and it does brush out all the knots. And then I think their scrunchies are a great deal. A dollar. Not, you know, you can't beat it for a dollar. So Shat Masse does have a lot of wonderful products, but there are some, there are quite a bit of fails too. So you got to be careful. If you order on the website, definitely watch YouTube videos, but I highly recommend looking at the reviews of other people who have bought the products. Cause that's how like I found the eyeliner cause eyeliner you have to be really careful with. Um, cause there's, they have different liquid liners, but a lot of them had really bad reviews. And this, this, the AOA brand had the best. So yeah, definitely check out the reviews, watch YouTube videos, even though it's only a dollar, a dollar adds up and you don't want to waste your money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out Beth's channel and see what her AOA studios or her Shop Miss A favorite and fails are because she has different products than myself and I'm sure she has a lot more and she could tell you more. Like I'm sure she has some powder eyeshadows she could talk about as well if you're curious on those. But thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, if you're from Best Channel, hi, welcome. I hope you stay a little bit and hit the subscribe button. And definitely let me know in the comments, what are your favorite Shop Miss A items? It could be makeup items. It could be other types of items. I'd love to know what your favorites are, even if you have some fails, so I don't buy them. Okay. I will see you guys soon. Bye.